everyone welcome to automation community today in this video we are going to discuss an example which will be about time interval so let's look at the example first interval timer turn on a device for 2 seconds every 10 seconds that means we will be using a switch to turn on a device and the device will remain on for 2 seconds and it will turn off and it will remain off for 10 seconds and after that it will again turn on for 2 seconds and then off for 10 seconds and then again 2 seconds on and then it will remain off for 10 seconds and it will repeat this, repeat this process again and again after an interval. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. So this is the interface of TI portal version 16. So firstly, we have to add the inputs and outputs in the PLC tags. So we have only one input that is a start button. And then we have one output that is a device that can be any device but this is an output so its address will be q 0.0 then we will go to program blocks and then main ob1 so here we will draw the ladder diagram so let's zoom into it like this and then I will insert a normally open contact that will be for a start button. So I will write ST and select start button from the list. And then I will insert a coil for the device. And I will write T and then select device from the list. But this device should remain on for 2 seconds. So I will add a timer for that here then go to timer operations and then double click on tp and then click on ok so here i will write 2s that means 2 seconds so when start button is turned on device turns on and it will remain on for 2 seconds and after that it will stop but it should remain off for 10 seconds only for that, I will open the branch here, I will open the branch here and then add a coil that will be a memory bit. Let's say it is M0.0 .0. and then this memory bit will turn on after 10 seconds when the device is turned off. When device is off, then the timer will start and it will count up to 10 seconds and then M0.0 .0 will turn on. So here we will use a normally close contact and its address will be Q0.0. That is a, that is this device. When device gets off, then a timer will start and it will delay the on. So we will insert T on and the time will be, the preset value will be 10S, that is 10 seconds. So when device gets off, then after 10 seconds, M0.0 .0 gets through. And when it gets through here, we will use this as normally close contact. This is M0.0. .0. So. So when the device gets off, then after 10 seconds, this M0.0 .0 gets through and when it gets through, the current will not flow through this and then M0.0 .0 gets off and when it gets off, then this M0.0 .0 gets off, the current will flow through it. As a result, this TP will once again start and the current will flow through this 
for two seconds and in those two seconds device will remain on and after two seconds the device turns off the current will flow through it and then it will wait for 10 seconds the current will flow through it and this m0.0 .0 gets through this gets through this gets through and then this gets off and this gets off and then device gets on and it will repeat again and again so now we will start simulation here and then we will wait for some time. After that, I will start CPU and then start monitoring. And after that, we will switch to the project view here. And here we need to create a new project and let's wait for some time. We'll go to simulation tables and simulation table 1 and then I will right click here and load project tax. So as you can see here, when I turn on the start button, the device gets on and it will remain on for 2 seconds and then this starts for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds this gets on, on, then off, off and this gets on. So the device gets on after 10 seconds, then remains off for 10 seconds, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then gets on, and then gets off, remains off for 10 seconds. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.